Hello, my HCG family. Uh, I said I was going to do a video on my second yogurt day, which I don't really count that as like anything a big deal to do, uh, to do one in a row. Um, so, but anyway, I woke up this morning to a 0.8 release. Uh, so, um, I'm thrilled about that. I am at 190.8. So, this is the scary part. I, when I get, I get a little nervous when I'm, and it seems like this happens all the time. I'll wake up right at 200. I'll wake up and I'll be right at 190. I'll wake up and I'll be at 180. I never wake up and be 179 or one, you know, like as I'm 189 or, you know, or 199. It's always right there. And I get like a wreck. Well, when I say a wreck, that's an exaggeration. I mean, how pathetic am I if I get a wreck? Of course, my idea of a wreck and is, you know, is nothing. I get a wreck in my head. I'm like, it's like a little car crash going off in my head. You know, it's like, why can't I just wake up one day and it just say, you know, why couldn't it be today wake up and it says 189 and just skip the 190 altogether? I mean, or am I afraid all over? You know, it's like 191. I mean, that's what it was the day before, 191.6. It was a 1.4 release and I you know that is awesome and even this point eight is awesome but it would just be nice just to go whew. I mean that's what you know my other round it's like I wanted to get as far away from the 200s as possible you know so because I wake up and it's like 200 and it's like why 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 not be 199 why? You know, you're you're up peeing all night long. Is it just like, couldn't there not been one little ounce of urine come out of my body to put me just over? I mean, I'm good if I wake up and I'm 189.10. I don't care. I just seeing that 180. Why is it always 190? Why is it 200? And I say this before because I've done a round before and that's where I stopped. I stopped at 180. So that struggle to get as far away from 180. So I think I was down maybe one day, two days down to 178 and then whoop, right back up to 180. So it's just frustrating. That is frustrating. Now it's not enough for me to, you know, to go on some kind of binge, but Anyway, I'm just venting. Just we're just talking. So anyway, I need to move this along here. There we go. Um anyway, I was listening uh to Katie. What is her name that I just I just subbed to her Let me get and see if I have because this right. Where are you? Her name is Katie. It's like um oh here she is. It's K it's K T Lee um on HCG. Anyway, she was just talking about losing 30 pounds and I mean that's amazing. That is nothing to um, to take lightly. I mean, 30 pounds is a lot of weight. I mean, you know, let's go, let's go lift up 30 pounds and, uh, see how it feels. Um, but she was making a comment. She was talking about her husband is pr pretty much been left to himself as far as what he's going to eat. And so of course he's eating a lot of junk and she was talking about smelling the food and how satisfying that is. And I was thinking about how sometimes I, you know, 
you know, when you're on the, the protocol and, and you're, you're have to either cook food for people that, you know, are, uh, of course aren't eating what you're eating and you're fixing, you know, like frying bacon or something like that. When, you know, when you fix bacon in the house, even now I, I put it in the oven, which that is just like the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world is to fix bacon in the oven. If you all have never tried it, do it. Put it on a cookie sheet, lay your strips of bacon in there, put your oven on, I think I do mine like 400, stick it in there, and I mean, it's just amazing how you don't have to deal with the mess. I put parchment paper in my cookie sheet, and and uh, anyway, but you know, when you fry bacon or you stick it in the oven, it's, the smell permeates the house maybe for a couple of days. I mean, it's just there. So I understand the smelling, but I used to I used to watch people and sit and watch them eat and think, you know what? It won't be long. I'll be able to sit and enjoy that. And, you know, I know what it tastes like. You know, it's like pizza. You know, pizza used to be my big thing. People eating pizza, I'm like, I know what pizza tastes like. And I know that it's good. And I like it. And so... I, it's not like I don't know. It's not like I'm looking at the pizza and saying, you know, man, I wonder what you taste like. Everybody seems to be enjoying you so much. I mean, they're like, you know, the cheese is like hitting their chin and, and the sauce is like, and they're just like, nobody's talking. Everybody's just eating and they're enjoying you so much. I wonder, what do you taste like? I I am a little bit crazy but anyway I I'm like I know what you taste like I have a conversation with pizza glad I told you that now so you you might want to unsubscribe um Mimi is now talks to her food and her pizza especially but I don't do it out loud like I'm doing right now. Right now, I'm just talking to a camera. Right now, this, I could just like tuck this little baby away and nobody will know. And it's like me just talking to my computer. So anyway, I know that I know what the pizza tastes like. You get the gist. So, but I just thought that was funny because she was talking about smelling the food and, um, and, uh, and that was enough, getting that smell um, in, you know. My luck, I would, you know, be smelling the piece of pizza and, you know, a big old, that better not be a flea. A big old uh, chunk of bacon would go <laughs> down my throat <laughs> into my gut. I'd step on the scale. I'm swollen from the salt and all the sodium in the bacon. The scale goes up to, of course, like 192 or 193, you know. So, I mean, it won't go up to 190.2. It will go up to way, you know. We don't. So, anyway, I'm just going to let you know. Another thing, too, I want to say real fast is about you know, there again, thinking about Kay when she's talking about losing 30 pounds. And um, how, when you lose weight, if it's 10, 15, uh, 20 pounds, and you get up in the morning, and we were listening to, I think, that Hungry for Change. And one of the men on there was talking about being always aware of his body. And when he was really really heavy and I was telling I was telling my husband I said there is not a time that I get up even in the middle of the night if I get up to go to the restroom that I am not aware of my body of how my body feels when it when my feet touch the floor or you know just how my body feels when I'm walking across the floor you know, it's like trying to walk across the floor and try to be as graceful. You know, you're trying to walk across the floor like your little ballerina, this little feather floating. And 
and when you're, you know, when you, you weigh a lot, uh, that's very difficult to do. I mean, you have to be very aware to try to, you know, tiptoe. You know, it's like kung fu, you know, walking across that paper and not leaving any marks, you know. Um, that's, how I, that's how I am when I get up every day, being aware of what my body feels like when it hits the floor. And, uh, and it's the little things when you start releasing that weight, it's, you know, it's cool when you're, at, you're able to put on a smaller size jeans. I mean, that's, that's wonderful. Um, I, you know, like right now I got a pair of my, just my old 16s. I can fit back in my 12s, um, but it makes me have a little bit more gut hanging over, and I don't like that feeling. But these here, my the jeans I have on, they're just really loose right now. And I mean, they feel good. I'm aware of my, I'm aware that my legs in these jeans, I have extra material. So that kind of feels good when I put them on because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm aware that my legs have gotten smaller. You know, when I button them up, I don't have to, you know, suck in. So... It's these little things if you, when the scale doesn't go down or it's not moving like you uh, want it to, and we all want it to, um, you know, you put on a pair of, even if you're in, you know, even if you're in a size, you know, 10, you know, go put those 12s back on. If you're having to go put those 12s back on and walk around in them. Go put those 14s back on, 16s, 18s. 20s, 22s. I've been, I've been as far as up to 24 in, in my life, you know, and, you know, go put those on and walk around and think my body used to fill these things out and just have that feeling of like, my goodness, this, they feel so good. They're so loose. I can bend over. I don't have to unbutton my jeans and unzip them to tie my shoes and just kind of walk around in them for a little bit. So, you know, that's, that, that's what I'm doing when I, you know, I, I'm not wearing spandex around the house when I put a pair of jeans on that, and I'm more likely to put a pair of jeans on when I'm losing the weight and getting the fat off to put them on and, and wear them and feel, you know, comfortable. Feel like, you know, when I'm walking around and I know that there's all this slack that's in the back. Now that used to be, you know, really tight. So, all right, that's it. Just, just letting you know what's going on. So, point A today, I've already had. I um, chopped me up my chicken and uh, put some chili powder because I made a pot of chili for my husband. So I just took some chili powder and liquid aminos and some onions. I already had like some red onions and celery and uh, radishes that I had sliced up for a salad. So I just dumped them in the pan and sauteed them with my chicken and put that over romaine lettuce. And it's a possibility I might have that again. So um, no more yogurt for a while. I don't know if I'll have a fruit today or not right now. My stomach, I drank smooth move tea last night. And also took a Formula One by that uh, Dr. Schultz that I had. So plus a magnesium, and which it's not a new. I mean, I, I, I do that all the time. But anyway, my stomach was feeling like a little, you know, cranky. So not so much hunger. And I just made me my first glass of hot tea. I don't know if anybody knows, when I drink hot tea, it's really, I feel better. I don't know. It just seems like if I drink hot tea and not just my uh, water. I'm holding on to what I'm thinking was a flea. Man. It's time of year. Sorry. Dogs laying on my lap. So, anyway. It seems like when I drink tea, it kind of helps. It just... You know, regular hot tea kind of helps me too, kind of get the water retention down. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to get off of here before 15 minutes. Love you guys. Hug HCG family.
Bye.